Okay, the overall condition of the home is in uh, pretty good shape. Um, going around the outside grounds of the home, I noted on the north side fence that um, there have been posts that have been replaced out there. Um, the fence is repaired, um, however, there are signs of some pest damage in various areas of the fence, um, which is pretty consistent with the age of the home and, and um, the age of the fence. Um, going around the exterior of the house, some of the exterior wood trim appears to be a bit weathered, needs scraping and repainting, type of thing. Um, I didn't see anything that would indicate any kind of water damage to the exterior of the house. Um, the rear bedroom window facing the back of the house is unfinished around the edges. It needs to have needs to be restuccoed in. However, it does appear that the window was installed properly and flashing installed properly to prevent leakage. Um, the cover for the patio light, rear patio light, is missing. Um, coming inside the house, there are no um, smoke alarms installed in any of the bedrooms, and there are no carbon monoxide detectors installed in the home. Actually, needs to be two in here. One on the, um, the east end of the home near the bedroom and one on the west end of the room. Uh, I saw a smoke detector over here. Is there any other one? Um, no, I only, I only found or there were, I think there were a total of two. See, there's one right there's there. There's one here yeah. and one down there. Oh, okay. But there's none in the bedrooms. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, it, there's a hole in the door to bedroom number two, and the uh, lower closet door tracks are missing in bedroom number two. Um, in the master bedroom, excuse me, master bathroom, the GFIC electrical outlet will not trip, so it's not GFI protected, which it's required to be. Uh, the toilet is loose at the base. Um, there are two openings in the shower stall walls. Uh, it's a fiberglass type walls where um, there was a lucite. Uh, towel rack inside the shower stall there, or washcloth rack, that's been removed so you now have two openings going into the wall that should be plugged up to prevent water intrusion into the walls. No signs of any, any problems in there at this time. Um, the sink drain underneath the, the bathroom sink is has an active leak in it so the drain line needs to be repaired and the door sticks in the door frame to the bathroom as well. Um, the laundry area out in the garage, there's an installed washer and dryer uh, included. I didn't run a test on those, but those are, are the appliances that come with it. Um, there's gas hookup. There's also 110 and 220 volt hookup and dryer vent installed. Um, in the kitchen, um, there's a ceiling light that's cover that's missing. It should be replaced. And the electrical outlets within six feet of the sink are not GFI protected, so those need to be GFI protected. Um, everything in the garage appears to be okay with the exception of there is an opening in the ceiling of the garage in the firewall um, which compromises the fire rating to the rest of the house because there is no fire barrier between the garage and the living space in the attic area. So my recommendation is, is that the opening in the garage ceiling be sealed off with um, two hour fire rated sheetrock um, for fire protection there. Um, the attic looks good. Uh, minimal insulation up there. Um, the uh, main electrical panel looks good. The sub panel looks fine. Um, the water heater has galvanized pipe nipples on the top of the tank connected with copper lines. Um, there is some corrosion and signs of previous leaking on the water service line coming into the tank. Um, I would recommend that those lines be cleaned off, uh, the corrosion removed. Also the, the water shutoff valve appears to have had some leakage from it too. Um, and those uh, galvanized pipe nipples replaced with either copper or brass. Um, the furnace is working fine. The filter is a disposable type and it is very dirty and needs to be replaced. It looks like the original filter. Um, air conditioning system is working fine. Um, furnace heated up to over 90 degrees when I turned it on and uh, at, at the vents and the air conditioning system went down to 47 degrees at the vents as well, so it's in good operating order. Um, foundations of slab, I don't see any signs of foundation issues or structural irregularities in the home. Um, smoke detectors, there's two installed, one at each end of the house on the west and east side. Still needs to be a minimum of one smoke detector in each bedroom. Um, also need to have two carbon monoxide detectors installed. 
No fire sprinklers installed in this home. It's not required. No alarm system, not required. Um, dead bolts on both the, the front and back doors. Um, there's locks on all of the windows. All the window screens are there. Um, there's no escape ladder requirement. And outdoor lighting is uh, front porch and backyard. And they are operational. That's it. Okay, thanks.